This miniature painting noob is going to show you how to paint the king of the deities. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good day. Today is the day I paint the last god from Ankh, gods of Egypt, and that is Amun, who is primed in skeleton bone and we're going to be starting off with his skin by applying a nice dark stone why are we doing dark stone you say well because his skin was quite dark in the artwork and we wanted to portray the artwork as closely as possible anyways i hope you're enjoying these videos folks please hit that like button hit that subscribe button and like i said this is the last ankh god in the board game from the kickstarter version i believe amun was in the base game if you haven't seen those videos, the link will be popping up real shortly. Alright, we're moving on now to some speed painting, camo cloak. This is for the bottom part of the inside part of his robe. Or, I guess, his robes that he's wearing. Uh, we're gonna, you know, sometimes you, you don't know what you're doing. You're painting these miniatures. You try your best to see what they're gonna do. And you just live with it, right? So a little bit of Zealot yellow now, another speed paint from the Army Painter. And we will go on top of the green a little bit, and I was very gentle to make sure it didn't reactivate. And I think it was still a bit wet that it blended perfectly. And then we're going to use a little bit of Holy White, and man, do you ever have to shake the holy heck out of this paint. This one, the pigment stays at the bottom so bad. Uh, even my shaker, it's in there for a good like 30 seconds, 45 seconds before it even gets the pigment at the right spot. I don't know what's wrong with this one. I don't get it. Anyways, there's little spots here and there on his robes that you want to put on there. And this is just so that the skeleton bone comes out a little bit more to keep it like a dirty white underneath. Uh, a little bit of hardened leather, another speed paint. This is just for this one belt that he has. It's a little hard to see. Uh, but it's under his arms. The next speed paint we're using is Slaughter Red. Uh, don't worry, we're not going to be using speed paint on the entire miniature uh, because you're going to see what's going to happen uh, on the next color. Uh, yeah, so some Slaughter Red for the inside part of his cloak. And um, yeah, so I want to get back to, you know, blending, layering, glazing, uh, highlighting, all these other anyways i've been watching videos lately and i felt like i was being told that my miniatures pretty much suck through these videos N not no one personally told me that i'm just saying it felt like that anyways let's keep moving here plasmatic bolt is our next speed paint this one with skeleton bone not great also on large surfaces with no details not great at all i'm not impressed with this whatsoever so I cover it up with the royal cloak and I was like, oh god, this is gonna reactivate, isn't it? This is gonna rub off, this is gonna and then it didn't. And I let it dry, by the way, a good 24 hours. So I was like, oh good. But something happens later on and I'll show you that soon. Uh like I was saying, when you watch videos on YouTube and you're trying to learn how to paint, yeah, you can watch all these other YouTubers that are showing you the techniques of layering, glazing, and all that, and you could practice it. And there's a lot of people out there that are master painters that are amazing, but they're artists as well. I didn't go to art school. I just started painting because I wanted these guys to look better than their cheap plastic. All right, gemstone is next. This is going to be for uh, that big sun or plate or whatever that's on the back of his head. And beautiful metallic color. It was a little, um, for some reason, not going on as well. I had to do a second uh, coat on this paint. I don't know if it's because of the, the skeleton bone I noticed this time was very, uh, like, very glossy, very, I don't know how to say it to you. Anyways, very um, silky to the touch. Like, it's like the paint was so smooth, it was weird. Anyways, maybe I just put too much on? I don't think so, though. Night scales now for the staffs of his two staffs <laughs> for the handles. <laughs> Uh, I didn't want to use a wood color or anything like that. I really wanted these to shine a bit more. So that's why I put this. All right, we're moving on to some greedy gold. Hey, guess what? Greedy gold is back. Doing just some of his uh, armor, uh, some of the ornaments he's wearing, uh, the tips of the staffs, um, some of the jewelry on the back of his uh, cloak. Uh, we're doing just little details too here and there, uh, like the, the edge of... Uh, that plate 
uh, like I said here to the ends of his staffs uh, and you don't want to forget the back there as well there's like little jewels is dangling in the back end there so you want to make sure you put those with the greedy gold as well all right we're moving on to glitter green haven't used that one in a while I don't think uh, this is gonna be for everything that's like a snake on this miniature so he's got snakes wrapped around his arms he's got a snake in the middle of that sun plate or whatever that is uh, he's got snakes on the side of it. He's, he's got these scales. He's got their, their, like, the tails everywhere. And all along the edge also of that disc is done in green because it looked like snake scales. So I decided to do that with that. A little azure magic. We're going to be doing this on those scarabs he has on the bottom of his cloak and the top of his head dressing there. Uh, just, some, just some areas here and there. It's going to match with the cloak he's wearing. And give it a nice light blue uh metallic color um oh yeah and when people say non-metallic colors well this is an easy way to get metallic colors you got metallic paints you do it right uh <laughs> simple anyways elven armor we're gonna be doing now the rest of the scarabs with this it's a little bit darker blue so it's gonna blend in really nicely it's just gonna have a different uh coloration uh, this one too had to put a second layer on top of the that scarab right there. It felt like the skeleton bone was just it was just just grabbing to it. It was being very annoying. I don't know what's wrong with that primer, and it's new too. Ash gray. Uh, we're gonna be doing his eyes, and we're gonna do a quick little dry brush on top of his fur, just to give a little bit of edge highlighting uh, on that, and as well as his like horns and that, just to lighten it up a bit. Plus, that dark stone was quite uh, glossy, so. Uh, now we're using blue tone. We're going to be finishing off his cloak with this. And uh, so as I'm applying this, I notice something happen on one side. And don't forget, I let that speed paint dry underneath really well. So I was a little confused when this happened. It reactivated under the other paint that it started to just wipe right off. I was like, what happened there? I was, so now, yeah, I'm a little disappointed with that. Dark tone, folks. We're going to be putting this on the rest of the miniature, uh, getting all the metallics, getting all the skin, uh, getting everywhere with this dark tone. And you know what? I didn't load my brush up with a ton of it just so I can get uh, enough in the nooks and crannies just to give it a nice little natural highlight without having to do highlights after. Um, washes are there just to fill in the gaps and to give a more realistic look. All right, there you go. Amun is painted, ready for the table. The final god from Ankh, gods of Egypt. I hope you've enjoyed these series. Stay tuned for a new series coming real soon. We'll see you in the next one.